Okay. Fee rhymes with AMC. What is uh, NSC 2022-13 that just passed? Is it possible FINRA waited so long to approve because of I don't know what rule that is. NSCC. Uh, Zero one three. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put I put too many dashes in there. It's supposed to be a zero. And you it's supposed to be a dash as well. Let's get this right, Houston. There it is. Let's look together. This one, December 20th, so that was yesterday. Order granted to propose rule changes to amend liquidity risk management framework to include a new section describing the process by which FICC would designate uncommitted resources as qualifying liquid resources and make other changes. This sounds loopholey, doesn't it? Um, boom. Okay. How many pages are you? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Where's the page numbers? Oh, it doesn't look that long. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, fixed income clearing, National Securities Clearing Corporation, uh, collectively clearing agencies, blah, 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 blah. Uh, men clearing agencies, li liquid risk management. Um, okay. So, it has to do with which how each clearing agency deploys their respective liquidity tools these obligations liquidity tools basically means how we're going to get some fudging money out of this when we run into trouble um so FICC states at this time it does not have uncommitted liquidity resources designated as QLR however the proposed new section would allow FICC to have such QR, QLR to the extent requirements of rule blah 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 are followed the proposed section would provide that in order to designate uncommitted liquidity resources as QLR, FICC would identify the properties of each financing arrangement, including the underlying collateral and liquidity providers determined for the rigorous analysis that would be appropriate based on the nature of that liquidity resource and conduct that analysis at least annually. So it looks, it sounds to me like they're looking at those who are borrowing, i.e. margin or collateralizing their debt or whatever, um, that their their collateral will be looked at as to how easy it is to turn it into cash. So, um, and that can have to do with marking conditions, okay? Because <laughs> sometimes you can sell stuff for a lot of money and sometimes you cannot. So it's utilized as a liquidity resource for member default, even though they're not designated as such. So basically, this is this is being able to take some of their collateral, even if it's maybe not necessarily uh, assigned as collateral, like well, you owe us, we're gonna break your knees type thing. Um, all right, that just seems to be this is this this is another rule that's like a way for them to get their money back if if she hits the fan. And a lot of these rule changes in the last year year and a half seem to all be based around. Uh, doomsday. The doomsday is coming and they have to fix it accordingly. So, uh, yeah, these, these seem like, you know, without going too deep into it, um, yeah, so, so then, then a rule also allows them to reach out to basically, you know, guys that are a little, little on the edge. To be like, hey, uh, member who owes us a lot of money, we're going to look deeper into your assets and figure out what we can sell if we need to. Um, yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That seems to be kind of the basis of it. Pup looks cozy. Monkey butt's always cozy. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah, you're a cozy dog. <clears throat>